Welcome now for that top four with their top hit. You really got me going. The Kinks. Girl, you really got me going. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing now. The Kinks have to be right up there, right at the top. They're the most enormously important, influential band. Vital to defining what we would call the British invasion of America. Quintessentially English. So many other songwriters that came after them, so many other bands that performed and had a particular sound, wouldn't have had that if it hadn't been for the Kinks. The and left me in my stately home Blazing on the sunny afternoon Ray stands out as a songwriter for so many of us. Very, very influential, very evocative, very powerful, very... Like, a, there's a perfume about kink stuff. With Ray Davies, because he's so subtle, sometimes you don't realize that you've stolen from him until, like, three years later, and you're like, oh, man. Thank you for the day. Ray Davis was one of the first to completely embrace this uh, Englishness which hadn't been seen in rock and roll. He sang in his own vernacular, you know, he sang in an English accent and he wrote about everyday English life. His compass was so purely about English pastoral life. As long as I gaze on Waterloo sunset, I am in paradise. Every day I look at the world from my window. But I think Waterloo Sunset is the best song that's been written about London for me. I mean, it's the best song about London. It's my favourite song. There's a certain to it all. We could get that whole sentiment even though we didn't know what the Waterloo Bridge was, who's Terry, who's Julie. Meets Julie Waterloo Station every Friday night. It's just divine. It's a masterpiece. You know, you're going to have to stop me. I mean, I'll go off. It's like Turner's, you know, Turner's view of the Thames. Millions of people swarming like flies round. Ray Davis would come up with these delicate, lovely, beautifully structured ideas, and then and then Dave would come along and give them this jagged electricity, which which really brought them to life as well. And I pretend to be with you in the daytime. The dynamic between Ray and Dave, I think, is very interesting because obviously they were brothers and uh, they were quite competitive. The only time I feel right is by your side. Dave's guitar playing is visceral. It comes straight from the gut when he just really hits the, the power chords and goes for it. Nobody can touch him. He pioneered that sound. It's very, you know, back here, back here, bam! Back here, back here, back here, bam! You know. <laughs> Dave was a real innovator, and of course Ray was a gobsmacking genius. She walked up to me and she asked me to dance. I asked her my name and in a dark brown voice she said, Lola, hello, Elena, Lola, la, 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 Lola. Do you have any real passion for British pop music? You can't not have been influenced by the Kinks. They changed the progression of music. How desperately they'll work together again, yeah. I mean, come on, it's the damn kinks, you know what I mean? Just look at them, you know what I mean? Just look at them, just listen to ten seconds of them. Look at one classic picture of them. You know, how can you not put that in the Hall of Fame? It's a wonderful day for you and I, I wish I was there with you. I am here with you, aren't I? I'm over there.